guys, I'm back with another unboxing. Uh, this time it's of the Intel uh, 330 series uh, 120 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. Um, I picked up this drive actually to go into a uh, computer build for a family member. Um, they'll be upgrading from a, a very old 120 gigabyte um, uh, 7200 RPM uh, IDE Seagate drive. So for them, this will be night and day. Um, and also upgrading from a single core Athlon processor in that build to a uh, a quad core. So that'll be a big jump for them in performance, both in the drive and the computer. Um, I think the bigger part of the, or well, just as big a part of the upgrade being the drive. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at this Intel drive. There's the front of the box. And the rear of the box. I did purchase this drive at um, NCIX. I believe this one was. Yeah, this one was NCIX. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it was $99.99. There is the other side of the box showing the model numbers and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and cut the seal and open up the box. Let's take a look at this drive. Get the camera focus again. There we go. So inside the box, there's a separate brown cardboard interior package. Just rearranging here. flips open. So here's the drive itself. We'll have a look at that in one second. Go ahead and pull that out. It's got a separate little cardboard holder for that part. Let's see what comes in the box. There's an Intel Speed Demon, or Speed Demon, uh, excuse me, solid state drive uh, sticker. A quick start uh, desktop installation guide. A little mini CD. Installation guide and warranty. And Intel data migration software can be downloaded from, it says right on the front of the CD. So imagine you have to download that if you want to do any hard drive cloning. What else comes with this Intel drive? There is a four pin Molex connector to serial ATA power adapter. In case you're running an older system that doesn't have any built in serial ATA powers. It also comes with a serial ATA cable. Relatively thin, seems quite flexible. Uh, clips on the cable connectors. Let's see if we can get some focusing, there we go. And two sets of screws, uh, one larger set to screw the uh, uh, the adapter metal adapter bracket into a three and a half inch bay, and a set of smaller screws to screw the actual drive into the adapter bracket. Let's take a look at the adapter bracket. Get it out of there. Not fairly snugly. And there is the metal adapter bracket. Very solid, not flexible. Not the most attractive bracket, a little black paint or something wouldn't have killed them, but um, I'm sure it's functional. Now let's take a look at the drive. It's packed in an anti-static bag. Um, some silica gel in there to keep the moisture away. Now let's go ahead and rip open the bag. side. And there is the actual SSD. There's the front of the SSD. 
see if I can get my camera to focus like it should be trying to do. There we go. So there is the front of the SSD. Back side of the SSD, uh, the finish is not quite as nice with the aluminum on this side. It is an all aluminum casing by the looks of it. Uh, the usual serial ATA power and uh, and data connectors. And uh, that's about it. So again, it's not the absolute fastest drive out there, but um, I think for, especially being as it's, it's not going in a system of my own, um, to pay a, a tiny bit extra for the uh, Intel name and reliability, um, hopefully Intel name and reliability, um, I think it's worth the uh, slight increase in cost. I think this was about, like I said, I think it was $94 or $99, um, you know, comparable drives uh, in, that, in that size range, from, not from Intel. Right now we're going for the $80 to $90 range. So for a $10 or $15 uh, difference, I think we just uh, went ahead and bought the Intel. So anyhow, that's the uh, unboxing of the Intel uh, 330 series, 120 gigabyte, uh, gigabyte model. Um, I'm also going to uh, be having a look at the um, Plextor M3 512 gigabyte model that I bought to upgrade my own desktop. And I also uh, already opened up the um, SanDisk Extreme 120 gigabyte model that's uh, actually going in my main cabinet. So uh, you can have a look at those videos if you're interested as well.